By the end of this video, you'll be able to solve 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 3. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, so how do I solve this math problem? Okay, well, some people, when they see this math problem, they'll start solving it like this. They'll go 3 minus 3 is 0, 0, times 3 minus 3 is 0. So the answer is 0. And that is so wrong. That is not the answer. So the right way to solve this math problem, and when you see this math problem uh, with these different operations, you need to think of PAMDAS. PAMDAS is just an acronym that will help us remember the order of operations. And again, we're looking at subtraction and multiplication and subtraction. So we need PAMDAS to help us solve this math problem. Now, if you forgot what these letters mean, P stands for parentheses, E exponents, M for multiplication, D division, A addition, S for subtraction. And P will be the highest level and AS will be the lowest level. And one of the biggest mistakes some people make when using PAMDAS is not realizing that it's split into four different levels. So P is one level, E is another level, MD is another level, and lastly, AS is another level. Four different levels. And when you're reading a math problem with different operations, you read from left to right according to its levels. So looking at 3 minus 3, that is subtraction, it's at the lowest level. And looking at multiplication, it, it's in the higher level. So multiplication will go first. And again, P is the highest level, and AS is in its lowest level. Again, AS is within its own level. MD is within its own level. E, own level. P, own level. Four different levels. All right, so let's go ahead and tackle this math problem. So we know that 3 times 3 will go first. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then bring down the minus symbol down, the 3 down, the minus down, and lastly, the 3 down. Now we have 3 minus 9 minus 3. Again, you read from left to right according to PAMDAS levels. So there are just subtractions. So 3 minus 9 will go first. So 3 minus 9 is what? Think about it. So here's the number line. And you start at, let's put a zero there. And this is three, right? So if you go back nine spaces to the left, right? Because we're subtracting, you will eventually land on six, negative six, negative six. So it's negative 6, bring down the subtraction symbol down, and the 3 down. Now you have negative 6 minus 3. And all you have to do is move back three more spaces to the, to the left, and you'll definitely land on 9. So six, negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. Or you just add and keep the sign of the bigger number. So the answer is nine. And there you go.